hello friends in this video i going i am going to explain how you can use postman for kind of uh, authentication process for to perform any kind of authentication process using this kind of authentication process used in uh, rest based api of uh, i mean different most popular platform like paypal uh, you can see zoho crm also used uh, this kind of authentication process and there are many more uh, payment based uh, apis so like uh, here developer.paypal.com you see authentication is second tab so there are they they are there are two ways to perform this authentication type authentication process either using this curl type and either this postman so what is postman postman is uh, another web application they also give their desktop based application either you can download that either you can use uh, their web platform to perform this kind of actions so what you have to do you can you need to click on sign in you must already have account with them you can join with google since i already have so i will use my own okay <clears throat> we will follow steps mentioned here how to perform your authentication process we will follow them so like uh, here they mentioned set the verb to post so after login you need to go on your workspace my workspace either you can create your new workspace also okay so here once you log in you need to click on environment equal to globals okay and uh, you need to click a new tab here you can click on post like uh, they mentioned step one to post enter url url will be this one sandbox okay uh, next uh, they are saying i need to go on authorization tab authorization tab this is authorization tab from here we can select any kind of uh, authentication type but since we are going to use basic authentication we will select basic or here username and password you need to type your you need to copy paste your client id and secret key which you obviously can get from your paypal account if you are going to use sandbox like here i am going to use sandbox environment so it will be sandbox api key, uh, secret key and client id so if you are want to test uh, in live mode you need to remove sandbox.com like this but since we are going to use sandbox so we will type sandbox.paypal.com so here username in username i will type which i already have client id it is your client id and in password you will need you will copy paste your secret key okay so after this you need to go in body section like mentioned here in the username enter your client id in the password your secret select body tab body tab and here you need to select this xww form url in code this third one okay so here in key field you will type copy ground type ground type and for password you will use client credentials <clears throat> okay oops it's on you copy it pasted on wrong where wrong value field you need to paste here okay then just select send send you see it worked successfully here i get my access token which i will use to perform different operations for uh, of paypal rest based api you also can get the code of this uh, uh, action this process from here 
you just need to click on this code section okay so you see here it's already i have already select php curl but you can obviously select any type of uh, language you you are comfortable with so i'm going to use php curl same code i will copy and will paste here in my file which i already have done so obviously this is you can remove this is just a comment out section so here in credential tab like they have mentioned base chaucer decode what i'm going to explain you this i forget here they must be mentioned that the secret code you see note in code client id comma colon sorry and client secret in base chaucer before sending it to api call so what you have to do is you can obviously use this function base 64 underscore in code here i already have my client id and this is secret since i going to use sandbox environment i have already and uh, for credentials here ba after basic you can put type like this dot credentials okay i will also paste uh, the code uh, i will post a link in description section of this video if you will need otherwise it's very simple you just can copy paste from here you can obviously remove this cookie part from last and uh, here you will be here after basic word this is your base 64 encoded client id and secret what i have done is client id is this one then i put this colon and then this is secret so using this function you can just access execute this in your local host like i did i reload you see this works successfully this is my access token which is in this this one this one is my access token which you obviously can use for to perform other type of other kind of actions in paypal api uh, secondly okay secondly for like uh, i give you example of uh, subscription part okay i want to explain you scope do you see here these are these are scope in scope section these are the scopes which you assign in your app from paypal so what kind of uh, this token what kind of action this act token can perform you can obviously assign more scopes like for example for subscription part for subscriptions here for example i want to do cancel subscription you see this is scope subscription v1 billing subscription id cancel this will be url to perform cancel your subscription for live it will without sandbox environment uh, somewhere however we will explain in my next video so for now you just need to sh make sure the subscription is also coming in your scope part you see this is also coming so you can perform any kind of subscription base uh, action using this access token see you in next video thank you bye bye